Hey, thanks for watching Numbskull News, and today I'm going to revisit an old video I did a long time ago. It was called the Why the Big Four of Grunge Should Be the Big Six. And I got it's gotten amazingly a ton of views. Well, a ton of views for this channel, anyway. A lot of comments, a lot of people that disagree with my outcome. And what my outcome was is that I thought that Stone Temple Pilots and the Smashing Pumpkins should be a part of the Big Four to make it a big six of grunge. Of course, a lot of people had a reasons why they shouldn't. I addressed them in the video, but you know, look, video is not the highest of quality. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. So people aren't going to be tuning in for the entirety of the video, and that's understandable. I'm going to address a lot of the comments, a lot of the people, a lot of the disagreements about that video and uh, those two bands being included and making it a big six. So let's get started. So one of the big things everyone says is that, you know, the Smashing Pumpkins and Stone Temple Pilots, they're from L.A. and Chicago. You cannot put them with the Seattle grunge bands because in order to be grunge, you have to be from Seattle, which I always found to be kind of bullshit. I understand it's kind of synonymous with Seattle, uh, more so than any other genre, like synonymous with one place. But at the same time, Thrash is famously from San Francisco. Now, just because Thrash is from San Francisco, th does that mean that we got to take Anthrax, who's from, I think, New York or Brooklyn, somewhere in there, we got to take them out of the big four of Thrash? No, of course not, because Thrash didn't stay in one spot. And the same thing with death metal. You know, uh, American death metal started in... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to remember if it was Jacksonville or Tampa, but definitely Florida, <laughs> that Florida area. But it didn't stay there. It went worldwide. So did Thrash. So did Grunge. That's the point I'm trying to make. To say that they're not from Seattle, to me, means absolutely nothing. They can be included. A lot of comments I've had that said, hey, bands like Mud Honey or the Melvins should be in the you know, if you're going to do a big six, those bands have got to be in the big six. And while they are pioneers of, of grunge music, you know, no question. However, the point I was making as far as being in the big six, the reason you have Soundgarden and Nirvana, Alice in Chains and Pearl Jam as far as the big four, because they were monstrously successful. All right, you're talking about millions and millions of albums sold. And they had more than one album that, you know, went through the roof and had a bunch of hits on them. So that's what made them giant monster bands. You know, the Melvins were an underground band. You know, I love the Melvins, but that, let's don't kid ourselves. that They were nowhere near as successful as those other bands. Mud Honey was a little bit more successful than the Melvins, but still, I mean, pales in comparison to, those, to the big four. When you look at the Smashing Pumpkins, they had two monster albums and, and you know, highly successful beyond that, but still, uh, was it Siamese Dream and uh, the Melancholy <laughs> double album? <laughs> but I can't think of the name off the top of my head. I should have wrote it down. I didn't. Thus, these, these videos aren't great. However, uh, those two albums were, you know, gigantic platinum selling albums. Worldwide, huge, you know, all over the radio back then, all over MTV. That made the Smashing Pumpkins every bit as big as the Big Four. Same can be said for Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, Core and Purple, both monster freaking albums, tons of hits, platinum for days. I mean, just, my God, they were just suit that big. But they're, 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 every, they're just equal peers to Pearl Jam and Nirvana and Alice in Chains and Soundgarden, as far as just the number, just the numbers, you know, and how big they were. Now, really, you know, Nirvana, you can say the impact of Nirvana was way bigger than those two bands, but they were way bigger than the impact of Pearl Jam or Soundgarden or, or Alice in Chains. To me, only the Smashing Pumpkins and Stone Temple Pilots, they, they're the only ones that have the numbers to compete with the big four and, and be equal peers. And next up, people talked about, well, they didn't really have the grunge sound. So what they're talking about is there was that specific Seattle sound, right? But then again, 
Soundgarden sounds nothing like the other three of the big four. You could say the same thing with Nirvana and Pearl Jam and Alice in Chains. Very different styles that these bands brought. Like, what is the grunge sound? It's basically alternative rock. <laughs> All right? It's alternative rock that can get heavier than most other alternative rock bands. You know, Collective Soul wasn't that heavy. You know, I wouldn't have considered them a grunge band or grunge-ish band. They're an alternative band. Like R.E.M., you know, great alternative band, but they're nothing grunge. They weren't heavy. You know, they didn't have any, they didn't use heavy riffs. The six bands I'm talking about used heavy riffs. It was all six of these bands were heavily influenced by the punk, punk movements of the 80s. Uh, they were heavily influenced by, of course, alternative, Black Sabbath and heavy metal, Metallica. Uh... They had all those influences. You know, R.E.M., I'm sure, had a lot of love for all that stuff, but you can definitely hear a, a, a distinct difference between R.E.M. and Pearl Jam or R.E.M. and Nirvana or the Smashing Pumpkins or Stone Temple Pilots or Soundgarden. So really, those, you know, Stone Temple Pilots and the Smashing Pumpkins, you know, they had definitely their own sounds to them, but all those bands were unique. So that doesn't really make a difference. So overall, in general, all six bands are alternative bands, but they're the heavier side of that. And that's what I always equate to grunge. It's alternative, but heavy alternative. The, the original video and this one, it's just my opinion. And opinions are like assholes. We all got one. You know, if you don't feel this is right, make your own damn video. <laughs> I don't care. You know, if it's good, I'll watch it. You know, this one, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's any good. Uh, hopefully you watch it. Hopefully you like it, whatever. But yeah, I stand by that the big four of grunge should really be the big six. And all that d tells you is how freaking monstrous this genre was, that you could have six legendary bands. I mean, Pearl Jam, Nirvana, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, Smashing Pumpkins, and Stone Temple Pilots. Those are legendary bands, and they're all from the same time period. So to me, they should all be part of this, of what made that era big. So not the big four, the big six. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I'll be back with some other crap later. Bye.